Well, welcome to Blitz 8. It's a collision course, a year in the making. Bonnie Eagle and Scarborough matching up a year after meeting in the regional final. Bonnie Eagle going for a perfect regular season. Scarborough looking for some vindiction. All right, this game had a feel like it was going to be a video game scoreboard early on. First, Red Storm possession. Zoltan Panny up top to the tight end. Reese Lagerquist, 74 yards, 7 0 Red Storm. Scott's respond. Connor Saroyce to Alex Sprague for the score. Sprague would leave the game later with an injury, as would some other key Scots. 7 6 Bonnie Eagle. Panny's second completion of the night to Jarrett Flaker. What a night he had. 40 yard score, 13 6 Red Storm. Scott's drive the length of the field. Key play here on fourth down. Saroy scrambles, but Jaquan Semi is there to make a huge stop to keep him out of the end zone. It remains 13-6. Later in the second quarter, the Scots take the lead. Saroy's on the QB keeper. 14-13, Von Eagle leading. In the third, it's Flaker again making a big play in the run game. He also had a 90-yard kickoff return callback for a penalty. He was a big play guy tonight. 76 yards on this score, 149 yards all-purpose offense. 21-14 Scarborough. Then Lagerquist, have a day. Also had a pick, two touchdowns. This one, 85 yards from Panny. All three of Panny's completions tonight for touchdowns. 28-14 Scarborough, that is. And then they turn it over to one tough customer, Owen Garrard. 40-yard score. Red Storm win this one, 35-14. Handy Bonnie Eagle, its first loss. Looks like the Storm could steal that number one seed in A South. Nothing like Edward Little and Lewiston when there's something on the line, and there was a lot on the line tonight. Edward, look, Edward Little looking for the perfect regular season. No one wanting to spoil that more than Lewiston. Tonight for EL, the Devil Ward number 28. Garrett Poussard with the recovery and then takes it in for six. Six nothing Lewiston. EL would take the lead back on a Grant Hartley touchdown. It's 8 6 Lewiston. EL that is. But in the second, Lewiston here grabs the lead. Poussard, another touchdown, run there at 14 8. And then. Tanner Cortez rolls out, finds Hunter Landry, plucks it out of the air, goes 30 yards to the score. Lewiston pulling away up 20 to 8. Then Landry, rather Cortez, finding in the end zone Jason Willis, 36 to 8 Lewiston. EL would get on the board to make it 36 18, but Poussard puts it away. The Devil wearing 28 tonight, gone. 62 yards. He had 140 yards on the ground. Four scores. 41-16. Lewiston hands EL its first loss. EL still the number one seed. Lewiston should have the two seed and the bye. All right, Sanford hosting Thornton Academy, the last game at Cobb Stadium. As Sanford gets a new school and field next year, a lot of great memories at that field. And a good one tonight taking on TA. Michael Money with a big sack for Sanford. The other way, though, no offense for the Spartans as Garrett Lynn with the sack. That was the theme of the first half. Some good deep. Thomas Palmer with a Sanford sack. Or the sack of Sanford, that is. They went back and forth. All the scoring in the second half in this one. 21-7, Thornton Academy with a win. TA will have to wait until they get some results tomorrow to find out where they finish in the seeding. Jefferson Oxford Hills fighting for a playoff home game right to the fourth quarter. Colton Carson back to pass to Cam Slicer. Oxford Hills goes up 13-7. Late in the fourth, Sheffers a chance. They drive. Heron Conan finds Griffin Watson, who takes it down inside the five, but a late penalty would push it all the way back to the 20. Final play of the game. Sheffers needs a score to win it. Jordan Silver, the interception for Oxford Hills, preserves the win. Vikings take it 13-7. The way it looks, those same two teams, same location, next week in the playoffs. Well, in Class B, the seating seems to be set in stone, but still rivalry games abound. Starting with the Route 9 rivalry in Falmouth. There's Greeley coming to town. Remember last year, Falmouth won the regular season game only to have Greeley upset him in the playoffs. First quarter, scoreless. This time here, if it's ripe, it's going to get picked. Riley Reed, the pick six, 7 nothing Otsman. Then in the second, some vintage Jack Bryant. Looks like a little runner in the lane going off a of one foot to Brady Douglas. What a throw. 38 0 Greeley with a win. They end Greeley, or Falmouth with the win. They end Greeley's five game win streak. Falmouth the three seed, Greeley the four seed. Unbeaten Marshwood hosting Noble. Opening possession, Matthew Goodwin. 15 yard touchdown run for the Hawks as they look to go 8 0 on the regular season. Then Goodwin, also some strong D, comes in unblocked for the sack. Next, Marshwood possession, quarterback Tommy Springer breaking tackles on the way to the end zone. What a season he's had so far. 14 0 Hawks. Next possession, Connor Caverly in at quarterback. He's going to find Max Horton from 53 yards. 54 7 Marsh with one of two schools to go unbeaten in the regular season, along with Wells. 5 and 2 Biddeford hosting 6 and 1 Kennybunk. 
third quarter. Derek Smith takes the handoff, rips off the big gain, and oh, there comes the cutback. He goes 64 yards for the touchdown. Kenny Bunk up 27-14, looking to bounce back from that loss a week ago. Carter Edgerton trying to lead the Tigers on a rally. The first down in the Tiger, into Kenny Bunk territory, that is. In the fourth, Biddeford going for the field goal, but Brennan Schatzabell comes in and rejects it. Kenny Monk takes over. Trip Bush, the quarterback, the keeper, weaving through the defense. 20 yard touchdown run. Kenny Monk wins at 35 21. They should host Gorham. Tigers look like they're going to be at Falmouth next week in the playoffs. Battle of six and one teams in Southern C. Levitt hosting Morse. First quarter, Tim Albert back on the field, back after injury. Downfield finds Oren Shaw. Put it on the board. 55 yard score, 7 0 Levitt on top. Now, Morse, these guys can score, and they march down the field. But a fumble here, and Stephen Gray takes over. Hornets return that into offense. Bryce Hudson with a three-yard touchdown run. 14-0 Hornets at that point. A little bit later in the second quarter, Bradley Morrow gets in the scoring column. 29-yard touchdown run around end. 35-16, Levitt with a victory tonight. Hornets the number one seed in C South. Morse likely the five seed at Gardner. Battle of the Bay, Yarmouth and Freeport. The winner gets the final playoff spot in Class C. Yarmouth down 14-0 late in the second. Noah Eckersley Ray finding Jack True for the score. Clippers down 14-7. But on the ensuing kickoff, Adam Ulrichson, a little trickery here. Look, fakes the pitch back and then, oh wait, he's gone and untouched. 80 yards for the score. Freeport with all the momentum going into the break, up 21-7. But Eckersley Ray, and boiled a little bit of a firestorm this week. Stepped up on the field tonight. The touchdown run pulls his team within 21-13. Still in the third, Eckersley Ray leads another drive. The swing pass to Jack Riccardi. 21-19, Freeport down, a Freeport up. Yarmouth, under six to go. Eckersley Ray leads his team downfield and with no one open, tucks it in and he's gonna run over guys for the game-winning touchdown. Yarmouth wins at 27-21. They're headed to the playoffs. Two straight wins for the Clippers. They beat Freeport. Senior night in York. Cape Elizabeth at York. Ryan Weir, start of a big night for the big back. Who's going to tackle this guy? 20-yard carry for the Caper senior. Then from the 20, trying to stop Weir is like trying to stop a bowling ball with a spider web. Running through guys, 7-0 Capers. Weir the touchdown. A few plays later, York has to punt and Caper special teams doing special teams or special things. Zach Stewart, the punt block, that leads to a Jack Glanville five yard touchdown. 13 0 Cape. Later on in the second, it's Weir who went over 100 yards rushing. Another score 29 3 Cape Elizabeth with the victory. All right, let's go up north. Key Northern B game in Fairfield. Lawrence hosting Mesolonsky. Braden Ballard back to pass. He's going to find Jared Dodge. 35 yard touchdown for Lawrence. Bulldogs would actually trail by two scores before storming all the way back to win this one, 41-27. Lawrence should take the two seed. Them and Skowhegan tied atop the heel point standings, but Skowhegan did win the head-to-head -head matchup. Northern C, Winslow and MCI fighting for playoff positioning. Both teams accustomed to winning, and MCI a 14-12 lead at the half, but MC, uh, Winslow, that is, takes the lead in the third. Ryan Gagnon airs it out to Hunter Campbell. Winslow wins it 32-29, an impressive win over MCI. All right, great another Friday night in the books. Our game ball. How about going to Reese Lagerquist? He had an interception, two long scores as Scarborough hands Bon Eagle its first loss of the season. Our game ball, the Reese Lagerquist. That's Blitz 8. Thanks for watching. Check out the highlights again. WMTW.com.